Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that your day is going according to the plans of God, that you are allowing his plans to transcend in your life. I want to take this time to say thank you for allowing this ministry to be a part of your life, a part of your journey. Because we need it. I need it. Because everything that we share, I am the first partaker. And so I do not take the job lightly. I know that this is a part of my journey. And as I share with you, as I seek God's face on what we're going to share during our time together. He's releasing something in me. He's talking to me first. And so I thank him for that. On this week, we are going to talk about faith. So let's talk faith. And I've been looking at this word and uh, as the Holy Spirit led and guide me, we're going to take a look at some examples in the Word where either God or Jesus asked a question uh, pertaining to the level of one's faith. Our foundational scripture is, of course, over in Mark, the 11th chapter. The 24th verse, it says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So when we decide, when we make a conscience decision to pray about something, where is our level of faith? Am I coming believing that God is which brings us to another scripture over in Hebrews Hebrews the 11th chapter 6 verse says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if I were to look at Mark eleven twenty four and Hebrews 11 and 6, I am bringing myself in alignment with what is required of me concerning my faith. When we go to God in prayer, when we decide to pray about something, it is not up to God to convince us of our level of faith. And we're going to look at that in the word. We must come believing we have the written inspired word of God and we have examples of our life and at some point the individual must grow in their faith and so whenever a situation arises as we mature in Christ we should not contemplate we should not second guess God's ability. Our foundation of faith must be intact. So let's look at some examples in the Old and New Testament. And I'm going to just put our foundational scriptures up on our screen here so that those who are logged in live can have access to those scriptures. And you can also go back and 
listen to the broadcast. And let me make mention, yesterday, yesterday we received a notice that starting the 17th, our um, link with YouTube and Spryker, where after we finish broadcasting, it is normally automatically uploaded to our YouTube channel, The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson. On the 17th, that service between the two entities will end. And so yesterday we had to create a podcast on YouTube and insert our RSS feed. I did post the link and information on our Facebook page for the balance of life. And then therefore, uh, the content will integrate over to this new YouTube channel. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I do understand that technology improves. And also I look at it as a shift. And uh, as soon as I got the notice, I was in the middle of working on one thing. And I went ahead and, and got that taken care of versus waiting on the la- till the last minute. And I was thinking earlier today, I said, you know what? Whenever God tells us and reveals to us about a shift and it's coming up on a time frame, we should not linger, but we should... Uh, get things in order and that's what we did so I just wanted to make you aware that uh, starting Thursday our podcast will go over to it just simply says the balance of life previously it would roll over to the balance of life with Angel Ferguson but moving forth on Thursday, it will go to the Balance of Life and that new YouTube podcast channel is on our Facebook page. So uh, if you are on YouTube and you're looking for podcast, you can find us under the Balance of Life. All right. So on this week, as I mentioned, we are talking about Let's Talk Faith. And when we're in the Old Testament... A very, very familiar uh, passage of of scripture, something that I love to study, is found over in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. And we're going to definitely take our time with this. As I mentioned, we're going to look at this throughout the week. Because I believe that it's time for many of us to grow in our faith and we must know the level of faith that we have and I'll start at the very first verse it says the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Now here is God. He is taking the prophet Ezekiel uh, in a vision. And he is allowing him to see the condition. The dry bones represent a condition. And that is later explained further into the 37th chapter of Ezekiel. And he's asking a question. Now, God is all-knowing. God is all-powerful. And he is asking a question that he knows the answer to. But he is also setting up Ezekiel to find out his level of faith. 
Another scripture, familiar wise, that we quote is, Whose report will you believe? That is bringing awareness to our level of faith. So I'm going to add that to our list of scriptures. I have my notebook here. And that is over in Isaiah 53. So let me quickly just go over to Isaiah 53. It's a very, very important question when we're looking at our level of faith. Also, it's in the New Testament. But first, let's look at it in the book of Isaiah. Uh, who hath believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? So that's a question. Who is going to believe our report? When we talk about faith, when we share our faith, it must be conducive with just how we trust God. And only the individual knows their level of faith. We must become true to our faith. So if we're going to vocalize our faith, that faith must be rendered in our heart. In other words, I can't speak of a level of faith, but yet have doubt in my heart. I must as I would believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, I must do the same thing when it comes to my faith. I believe it in my heart and I'm confessing it with my mouth. And that takes me beyond just the ramifications of my salvation. That's in God totally. Now in the New Testament... Over in John, the 12th chapter, it says, But though we, he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Esaias, which is um, Isaiah, Isaias, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed. So this is quoted, the Old Testament, which is a foreshadow of the New Testament, is quoted because the question still remains. It was asked in the Old Testament by Isaiah, and it was repeated in the New Testament teaching about one's unbelief. And when we have experience with God through Christ Jesus, we should not doubt the ability and power of God. If he did it before, he will do it again. Now the reality is this. God is not going to do anything based on our terms. He does not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But our ways are not his ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They are as high as the heavens are above the earth. But he gives us a word of assurity that if he said it, surely he can bring it to pass. And we have such a great cloud of witness in the Holy written inspired word of God as he said to the children of Israel 
as Pharaoh and his army were chasing them, he said to them through his servant Moses, this enemy you will see no more. Once again, if he said it, he is able to perform it. If he said it, surely it will come to pass. And that enemy they saw no more. Because God said it, and it was so. So when we're talking about faith, the individual must consciously come to a reality of just where their faith is. And every trial, every tribulation is different. And it hits us in different ways. Some things were meant to try and knock you out. But when you have a mature, stabilized faith, you know that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver them out of them all. I'm holding to my faith. And if I buckle, then comes in the question of who's going to believe my report. If I'm not stable in my faith, if I'm uh, not willing to go through the fire. If I question God, oh God, I don't know about this one. I don't think I'm going to make this one. If I say those things out of my mouth, then who's going to believe my report of telling them that God is able. That God is faithful. <coughs> if I don't trust him. How am I going to convince you to trust him? It doesn't work. And so back to Ezekiel 37. God is asking a question that he already knows the answer to. Because he is Jehovah Jireh. He is a provider. He is the God that healeth thee. He is the God of a resurrection power. He is the God of life. And so when he asks a question, he already knows the answer. But the dynamic is to understand one's level of faith. And Ezekiel comes back with the reply of, and I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. In other words, I trust you. You already know the answer. So I am putting myself in alignment to do what you are going to instruct me to do for the manifestation that you, that you have planned. It's not my plan. So when we're talking about faith, it is really about putting ourselves in alignment with God for the manifestation of his plans. So let me write that down because that was good. When we're talking about faith, it is to put one's self in alignment for the fulfillment of God's plans. Because it's not my plan, it's not my will. But it is that your will be done. And that's what's important. Lord, let your will be done. 
not my will, but your will be done. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. On this week, we are talking about faith. Let's talk faith. Where is my level of faith? How am I handling my faith? Have I become mature and stabilized in my faith? Or am I still wavering? Am I still battling when it comes to my faith? At some point in my walk with Christ, I must become stable. Either I'm in or I'm out. If I spend time in the word, I have had by reading knowledge, by comprehension, I have seen enough experiences in the holy inspired word of God keeping his word and it is connected to the individual's faith and obedience then when I look at my own life when I look at my life I now see God's manifesting his word But I have to believe it. I have to accept God's word. And my faith puts me in alignment with what God said. If I'm not in alignment with God, with what God said, I'm not looking for the manifestation of his word. I don't believe what he said. It does not negate God's word. It does not mean that his word will not manifest. What that means is I'm not in alignment with his word. So once again, Ezekiel 37 and 3. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. After Ezekiel has put himself in alignment to acknowledge that God is all-knowing, then God speaks to him again. So we have to ask ourselves, and we will explore over in the New Testament, as the question was asked in Matthews 9 28 do you believe I can do this so in the Old Testament God is asking Ezekiel a question can these bones live these dry bones in the New Testament Jesus is asking the blind man do you believe I can do this so we're on the same line we're we're amongst the same thing same pattern asking the question After we align ourselves to say, yes, I believe you can do this. We must keep in mind, because when God asks something specific, it's in his will. Okay? That's why I believe that we should allow the Holy Spirit, ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in prayer concerning a situation. When we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in our prayer petitions, he is going to lead us according to the will of God. Not my will, but God's will. When we're led by the Holy Spirit in prayer, then the will of God is brought to our awareness. 
is brought to our attention. Now I know what to pray for. Now I'm not scattered all over the place in my prayers. Now I'm not trying to please my own flesh, but I am I am trying to bring myself in alignment with God's will for my life. Because he knows what is best for me. He knows better than I do. He is God Almighty. After we establish and confirm that we are ready to agree with God. God, I agree with whatever you're about to do. He leads him into the next section. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So do you see how we go to the next level? Because first he's asking him a question and he's saying, God, you, you know, and, and whatever you tell me to do, whatever you instruct me to do, I believe it's going to manifest. Now he's instructing him to speak to the situation. Do you not know that God would lead and guide you to speak to a situation? And he's telling him what to say. Once again, that is why it is important that we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. To direct us. This is important. And it moves us out of our flesh. Verse 5 says, Thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sea news upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So there is a waiting period. Mm -hmm. let us learn to wait with patience to hear what God wants us to say concerning anything Ezekiel knew that he had to wait because of what is in verse 4 Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So what is the word? I'm waiting on you only. Let's talk faith. Are we waiting to hear what the Lord is going to say? If we're asking him to lead and direct our paths. Let's wait on the guidance. Let's wait on the leading. Let's wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. We're going to stop right there. We're going to pick back up on tomorrow with more on our topic for the week. Let's talk faith. I believe that it's going to bless you. It is blessing me. I have my notebook and my pen right here jotting down these nuggets because I need them. I believe that they're going to help me in my current season and journey. We invite you to visit us on our website, www.angelferguson-ministries.com. Check out our College of Ministry and Mentoring programs. We do have a class coming up November the 2nd through January the 4th. The overview of the Ascension Gifts registration is open. Drop us a line from the website. Let us know you're interested. We'll get the registration process taken care of. And also, our book promotion for the month is our book entitled Life Applications, the Devotional. Have a great day.